<laughs> it's time. <laughs> hey, it's Jamie and Zia, <laughs> who just took a big drink and has a very uh, a water mustache. So and you can't see it, so it's fine. Yeah, so nobody even knew until I called it out, huh? <laughs> it's mom. Well, hey, this is the picture. This show, and um, that's the show where we explore the possibilities in wearing your imagination. And on Thursdays, we try to take time and effort in learning something new. We go back in the archives of history, and we try to find um, underrepresented artists, um, black, indigenous, people of color, um, and, and highlight and learn something. We want to continuously teach ourselves new things. And then um, we try to recreate something with a picture of this clothing template. Um, in the style of that artist that we learn about. So, um, are you ready to start learning? Should yeah. we start with... <laughs> Do you have anything good to share today? Oh, hello. Hello. Hey, Kristen. <laughs> Cree. Hello. It's Cree from... You remember Cree? Yeah. From the horse camp and... and anyway. Cree, hello. It's great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do you remember Cree? I just read the name as I read it, which we learned last time is not the best approach. Um, and so next time I'll take a second, process what I see, and then read what is okay to read, right? Well, it's great to have and you along. If you're watching and you want to type us a hello, please do. I think I, so I taught mom something yesterday is to never trust the mic names. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> never trust the, uh, the name mic. Yes, so never read it out loud. So, so we learned that last time in quite a mom troll stumble. Um, you can say mic, but don't. Just don't video. read it out loud. Especially Whatever if it has follows. an H after. Yeah, that's 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 plenty. They can go back and watch last time, last video from Tuesday if they want to learn more on that. <laughs> All right. So um, something good. I would like to let's let's think about what our something good is. Honestly, creativity for me, like the ability to be creative and share creativity and learn about new things um, through this platform has been super super good for me. So with all of the, you know, when there's a lot of drama and trauma and events and negative stuff happening in the world, um, I like to just remember what's good, something good. So do you have a, a good thing that you'd like to share? Same thing? Rocky's not here right now. Rocky's not here right now. So often we have a big 20 pound cat um, and sharing the, the screen with us. <laughs> Zia, great advice. Yes, yes. <laughs> It is great advice. I totally fell into a troll trap last week. So, yes, I learned from my 11-year-old that slow down, mama. <laughs> so slow down. School has taught me. School, you know. School has taught so I'm me. I'm glad you're learning something over there. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, we have a new artist to learn about today. Are you excited? I can tell you're thrilled. All right, well, let's jump over to our browser and let's learn. So today we're going to learn about Louise Mylou Jones. And this is a very old picture of Louise from, you know, she's she lived quite a long time. But I'm going to let a video do a little bit of explain. We have a video coming up here. I think the quality will be a little better than the last time I tried to do the video. We, we yeah. I don't know, Ken set it up better. I mean, he set it up this time. Last time it was a surprise by me. All right, so um, he took some time to uh, set this up, so hopefully it works a little better. What I'm going to do is run over here, and then I'll push play. So bear with me. The video is about three and a half minutes long, and um, let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Hang on. <laughs> that my parents uh, realized that I was talented and they gave me paints and paper and encouraged me. So that it, uh, it began very early with me. Early for artist Lois Melu Jones and early for our century, Ms. Jones is 90 years old and this is her year. This show featuring her work and the work of her students at Howard University where she taught for 47 years opened on her 90th birthday. This show, featuring her work in Paris in the 40s, just opened at the Studio Museum of Harlem. In 90 years, she's been there, done that, painted the t-shirt. They told me, Lois, 
you know, you're talented, but you're not going to make it in this country. Uh, you're going to have to go abroad because the establishment here in this country was not um, interested in the work of black artists. She was one of dozens of great black artists, writers, and musicians, expatriates like James Baldwin, Izzy Gillespie, Josephine Baker, who lived in Paris. That sense of freedom and people not uh, isolating you because of your color, it was your talent that counted. And so it was with the musicians, the artists, the writers, I mean, so many of them who went. I remember, uh, well, I was rather young and uh, maybe, I dare say, attractive in those days. <laughs> and I went to a French restaurant, and the garçon kept looking at me. And uh, finally, he came over and said, uh, uh, Pardon, mademoiselle, vous êtes Josephine Baker? <laughs> and I said, no, I'm not Josephine Baker, but Chilacane. I know her. When she came home, her art had changed, but America hadn't. I went on 57th Street with my uh, Impressionist works, street scenes and beautiful paintings of Paris. And they said that uh, your work is excellent, but, uh, you know, we can't show it. We just we can't take you on. And so I <laughs> decided to put my work in crates and ship them to the uh, national uh, uh, museums. They all made the shows. And I would uh, go to the openings and uh, see my work hung and feel happy about it. I remember one occasion when uh, one of the white guards came over to me, saw me looking at my painting right in the center of a group in the uh, Philadelphia um, Academy of Design show. And he looked at me and looked at the painting and said, I guess you like art. But I didn't tell him. I, I said, what seals? This is one of her watershed works, Les Fetiche. It's now in the National Museum of American Art. Paris taught her about painting, but Haiti and Africa taught her about art. Going to Africa and seeing the uh, actual uh, products and meeting the people and, and uh, realizing the richness of of design, of color, Africa, uh, really introduced me to heritage. She was rocky. <laughs> rocky. We'll do a catalog in just a second. I want to talk about the video real quick, though. Um, wow, wow. Maybe. Like, what a story, right? Um, that video was from the year 2012, and... Um, I, actually, it was posted in 2012. It was taken much earlier because she passed away actually in 1998. So that video was posted in 2012, but it was a Good Morning America interview um, with Louise Mylou Jones. And just an amazing story. I thought it was really good because it was one of the only videos I could find of her actually talking. And I love being able to share like an artist and have their own words to share with you. So I thought that was just amazing. What um, Ice hates me. Ice, you got a bunch of ice just waiting and, and then so I try barraging. And then it's like, oh, I'm just going to all land on your face. Well, I'm just going to all do it. All at once. I know. There's a comedian. It Dimitri. never goes and then it's like, whoosh, all at once. There's a comedian called Dimitri Marquis who does a little piece on ice the whole cold attack kind of thing and it's great so um hey i want to jump over to the browser again real quick and i want to um share just a couple of her paintings so if you do a google search which i totally encourage after the video or after this live stream take some time to do um, a google search because some of her work is just i mean all of her work is incredibly stunning and i, I grabbed a few pieces here just to show you and kind of nice. highlight <laughs> oh man, you and your ice today. Ice, ice. I mean, it baby. works because I, it's, we're always hot in the office. So. What do you think about this? It's pretty. It is pretty. What do you like about it? All the colors. There are so many colors, and I think that's what I wanted to focus on today. So, um, you know, last week we did some Aaron Douglas stuff, and there was the use of like con concentric shapes and stuff, and with, with, um, with Louise Mylou Jones, there's a lot of like patterns, color blocks, and then also this amazingly detailed hand-painted work. Like she has these people 
these beautiful people and then these like color blocks and then these patterns and she talked about the influence um, from when she was in Africa and the photo for us is over here so if we're looking over here I'm looking at the photo sometimes there's something yeah exactly like we look over here I mean I just I love that combination and how it tells a story and evokes feeling but she talked about you know how the traveling she did taught her about heritage. It taught her about the art and the use of color and patterns. And I love that and I thought that would be really fun to explore today while we design stuff. Okay, we gotta jump over to our cattle because it's here, it's, <laughs> we can't avoid our uh, Why Rocky. Why would he use his face in this? He just has his butt. So yeah, Rocky, we could slide him over if you want. Um, he's real easy to slide. So Rocky has made an appearance. This is a cat alert. Anytime a cat appears during our live stream, which we shoot at home where we have five cats, we throw up this discount code. If you're going to place an order at picturethisclothing.com, use me. the magic code cat alert to save 20% off for the next 48 all right, let's design some stuff, shall we? Design time, design time. All right, we got design time. All right, so we have laid out, before Rocky joined us, we had a nice little setup that Zia had staged here for us. She did a nice little set design. Um, but we have some fabric swatches. Now, interestingly, with um, Louise Mylou Jones, did you know she was actually a textile designer before she started painting? And she... Um, realized like she used to design the textiles and then she would sell them and um uh one of the like she mentioned that she made this is a story i read she mentioned to one of the people who were was buying her her stuff her artwork that it was her work and they were like no way did you create this you all know? of these we have to shake okay and press them what down. are those paint pens so we have some paint pens we have some fabric swatches which where did we get these fabric swatches? It, um, I have no idea. We got these fabric swatches from a company called Joybird, which um, if you're going to get a new couch, they'll send you a bunch of swatches. Oh. And I, I ordered these a couple of years ago, and I just I used I did them it. to design stuff. You sure did. All right, we have paper towel right up there. So, the other ones were so much harder, so I didn't expect that. So yeah, this will let you choose what your uh, couch fabric is going to be. So I thought textiles might be a really um, interesting tie-in given um, <laughs> Louise Marlou Jones's history with making textiles. I thought this might introduce some really nice patterns and textures to whatever it is we design today. And the paint pens, I, I figured you can probably draw on some of the fabric with paint pens. All right, so let's go. All right, Joybird swatches, awesome, really nice stuff in there. And I'm going to, I also grabbed some different ribbons. So we, we often have a lot of art supplies just on hand. And so I have a few that I thought, like, you know, just kind of, I grabbed a few of our, like from the Halloween bin. Um, but there are some really nice textures. I think this almost reminds me of a lot of like Louisiana when I was in Louisiana. Um, a lot of really cool textures and stuff like that. So I have a few of those if you want to design with any of those. What template are you going to use today? This one. What is that? That is a face cover. That is a face cover. I'm going to slide wrap Isn't it Is it the up. actual size of a face cover? No, it's not. It's a little bit smaller. So let's put it here so folks can see. It looks like it. And so it is, it, I mean, it scales. It is going to be like an actual rectangle. I'm going to design on a t-shirt today. So if you are looking for some Picture This Clothing templates, you get those at picturethisclothing.com. You'll design on there. And what I'm going to do is just play around with a bunch of textures. Now, something that is interesting with, um, with the art style of Wow, it's really hard to concentrate with all the shaking. <laughs> all, right. all right, so can I help? Can we just do a shake off real quick? Yeah. Let's just shake them all, and then um, and then I don't have to try to talk with the sounds. Would that help? Yeah. Shake all your paint pens. All right. I got those three knocked out. Are you putting the shaken ones on one side? No. Have they all been shaken? Now? I didn't even notice. 
Have they all been shaken now? Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, something that I wanted to demonstrate with um, some of her work. Let's go back real quick. I'm going to jump over to this one because I think it's really pretty um, and tells an amazing story. But maybe you have a drawing or artwork that you've done before that you want to preserve in a new and creative way. You can cut that out um, if you are, you know, her something fingers. that's... Uh, cut out a bowl or draw something new for the design and what, what's happening over there I don't know if that's gonna wash it up why don't you just wait until we're done and wash your hands after maybe just a thought that is a nice thought that you had but um, to create color blocks like this you can use pieces of paper you could use fabric swatches like we have what else could you use Z to create like blocks of color like this paint you could paint. Um, Did you say that? No, I didn't. So that's good. And I think, you know, like you could use a photograph if you want to use a photograph of something that's near like and dear to you. Yeah, and, and basically collage this out. All right. So let's jump back over to our design. I would like for you to create a cool mask. Now, I something. Like me to not have purple fingers. Well, you're going to have to wait until after the video. I'm very sorry about I know. that. All right. So. Let's design something, shall we? I have a bunch of papers here. If you want to create, like you can do the, like color blocks, like we saw, look, we could do something like this. Like that. I really like to fill in the whole space. So do you want to get started on something? Sure. You've got color blocks. Here, there are more swatches down here. If you'd like that, if you want to use strips of paper, there are a few already cut. Just saying. So you go ahead and start. I'll leave yours on. There's ribbon here. I definitely want to use some of this ribbon Me too. in mine. So I'm going to cut a piece. I'll give it to you and let you decide what goes on yours. There you are. And I'm going to set these over here. All right. All right. So let's just design. So while we design, maybe you'll be coming up with your own ideas. Maybe you have your own suggestions on um, ways to create some pattern inspiration. All right, I'm gonna take these scissors and I'm gonna hollow out my template because I love designing that way. So that's something that, you know, if you feel like you're not, you're limited by the space or, or something like that, do you want some tape to take that down? It's my airy art tool. Oh, that's very cool. You could layer things that way too, huh? But yeah, if you ever feel limited by the space or you've got something already designed, you can always cut these templates out too, or just submit the artwork without a template altogether, um, and we can fit it to a template for you. If you do that, just keep in mind that some of the artwork will get cropped off to fit the shape of a dress or a t-shirt or leggings or whatever it is you decide you get. When I cut mine, I try to cut kind of in the middle of the gray Look outline. Look how much rocky hair I got. Oh, so much rocky hair. At least it won't make it into the design. So it's okay. You could technically just cut that right off, huh? If you want. But I cut right in the middle of that gray outline. Your artwork, anything that falls on or outside the gray outline of our template gets cut off. So I try to cut off a little bit of that gray outline so that there's no white paper uh, encroaching my design. That was a weird word to use. Encro encroaching? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe this can be a vocabulary lesson too. All right, so there's my little t-shirt design. Now another thing you could do is actually, is great for little kids, have them design the, the cutout piece. So. Maybe I'll design that today. Ooh, that could be fun, huh? I think I'm going to do that. Um, but even if you do that, be sure Rocky to sleepy. also email us if you place an order for your design. Rocky. To also sign the paper and email a picture of that signature to us if you place an order, if you do something like this, so that we can um, include your signature in the hem of the garment. Cool, cool. All right. I like yours already. It's already turning out really nice. So let's see. I don't have anything like super um, 
detailed to include in mine, but I really wanted to play with like the pattern elements and the color block elements. No, I gotta go back to this one. So I'm gonna leave my little t-shirt over there. What do you have going on? That's really nice. What else can you add to that? Let's layer it on up. I want to try some of these fabric swatches that are under Rocky. Ooh, I think I might prefer some of the color swatches. Let's see what we have here. Greens, browns, what other colors do we have? I also have paint pens. Oh yeah, you have paint pens, so you could do, ooh. Can I try a yellow paint pen? Yes, you can. I want to see how that goes onto the ribbon. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm going to put a piece of paper underneath so that... I guess we already shook all of these, huh? I shouldn't need to do that. With paint pens, you always have to daub them a little bit. Um, maybe not quite that much. But I really That's liked... That's how it got on my finger. Like she used... Okay, it does bleed a fair amount. Oh, I'm doing it right underneath us so you can't see. All right, hang on. It does bleed a little bit, but if you're prepared for that, so that doesn't show up super well from far away, but I wanted to add some dots. Ooh, that was too much. I, got, I need a new piece of ribbon. You know what though? Maybe I can do it like this. Maybe I can color my yellow. Oh, look at that. I can customize my ribbon with uh, yellow. This is not Animal Crossing. I still think we need to do an Animal Crossing theme we do. one of these days. We keep saying it and we never do it. We have to though. We do, because I think it would be really neat. This doesn't work that well on paper. What does it work well? It works well on ribbon. You should give it a try. Maybe it works well on the fabric swatches too. I'm kind of, I've kind of like gone out, but maybe that's good. It gives it more of a handheld, hand created effect. One thing with um, Louise Rocky, Rocky, Mae Lou Jones's um, work is the precision of her shapes and her design elements are just beautiful. I'm keeping Rocky from going on my paint pens. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm going to color these in. He's enjoying it. So. Good old Rocky. See, look, it like fades away. If you have any questions, feel free to type those into the comments. If we don't catch them during the live stream, we will most certainly That's catch cool. them after the live stream. We love hellos and questions. That Hello, check out my um, newly yellowized ribbon. Whoa, that looks really neat, Z. That looks really neat. I, oh my gosh, it's almost like lightning strike or a big crack. That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> it went right through the paper. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'll have to uh, check that out afterwards. So if you're using paint pens, be sure to double up your underneath paper. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Um, I got so excited and into coloring my yellow fabric here, my ribbon. This really, is really cool. I love that Z. That's so neat. I think yours is going to be the design. You know, like it seems like every time we experiment with designs, one of us does something like super awesome, and the other one of us it kind of falls flat. And I feel like yours is going to be the one that kills it today. I think I got the one last week. Um, the chocolate ones were weird on Tuesday. They were both None just of weird. None yeah. of us got it. You know what was interesting though with the chocolate, when we designed with chocolate on Tuesday, was... Um, it came off the paper. When it came off of the silicone, we used a silicone baking sheet to paint 
our and pour our white chocolate melted um, designs onto. And then afterward, I was able to peel that silicone um, baking sheet off of the chocolate dress shape, which was really neat, and flip it over. And the backside actually looked like an impressionism painting or something. It was really neat. I was impressed with how that turned out. So I'm going to do a little bit of this. I'm going to do some of that. Wow. I want to try some red. That's it's like so neat. I love the way that's looking. Um, I'm going to try oh, scissors. Get away scissors. They are running away. All right. I just want to try some stripes or something. Oh, yeah. That. And if you want it more precision, like the precision we saw in the artwork today, um, you can always do rulers or, you know, you can take your time and get really precise. We're just experimenting here. Want to try some things. I'm getting pretty precise over here. With my cracks. I like your... Ah. Precise cracks. Oh no! It's no fun if you don't get messy, right? It can be fun if you don't get messy. Can it really? Yes. Ah, uh, I was trying to make an excuse for my messiness. I'm not the cleanest artist. I almost always have stuff all over my hands when I'm done. Um, almost always my hands look like your hands look right now. I never do that. You always have clean hands when you design? Mostly. Really? Yeah. Are you messing with me right now? No. <laughs> I think you're messing with me. So here's another really cool thing when you use something like textiles, things with like little tiny textures like this. It scales up when it gets printed on a picture of this design and it looks pretty fantastic. We have a few it examples. It looks so much better in the camera and I love it. Oh, it looks so good. I think it looks great in real life, too. That's so neat, Z. And look, you know what? Can I do something real quick? Since yours is turning out so awesome, I can give an example. Maybe you create it as a face covering, but maybe you want a t-shirt that matches. Check that business out. So now we've got a t-shirt. That's super cool. Remember that this is the size of t-shirt is actually going to be in real life. So what is? This is the actual t-shirt size. What do you mean it's the actual t-shirt? It's miniature. <laughs> Everything gets scaled up really big, so um, to a wearable size. So this is how it looks. <laughs> You're designing something this big. It's like the KFC thing. Oh, the KFC. <laughs> oh, we should find that and actually, we'll talk about the KFC logo. Um, not today, but we'll I do, shared my knowledge about it to them. It's so funny. You'll have to, I think on Tuesday or Sunday next week, it would be a fun one just to talk about. We could get inspired by like advertising logos or something or, um, but yeah, there's just this funny um, thing about the logo with the KFC logo where she thought the bow tie was the KFC guy's body, like a little stick figure body. It was really funny. And so like you, if you aren't familiar with the KFC logo or if you are, you should pull it up and look at like the Colonel's head and he has this little black bow tie and it looks like a little arms and legs and body. And I never saw that. I always saw it as the bow tie until Zia said, why did they make his body so little and um, in complete innocence? And then like now I can't unsee that. That's all I'll ever see is the, the Colonel's tiny body and giant head. So very funny. I guess we don't have to save it for later. We're just talking about it now, huh? Yeah. All right. Anyway, I like your design so much that that's the design I want to adopt <laughs> as well. I think your design turned out so good. And I would do it like that. It looks that. like my makeup. Like your makeup. Nice. I like it. Because it's hand built. No, it's amazing. And it like... It's really that, pretty. That dot was a mess up. Well... I would say it was started as a mess up and then you turned it into what? A success. <laughs> so sometimes, a crack. sometimes that's the beauty of just playing and letting um, your design, you know, just evolve. Like maybe this is a mess up, but maybe, maybe we could turn this into something really neat too. Wow. Am I really, really getting stuff all over? I hope I can get that off later. Um, it's Sharpie paint pens. So 
Maybe I can, maybe I cannot. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. I borrowed Sophia's uh, narwhal mug today. She's going to hate you, but that's all right. She won't hate me. She's a sharer, at least with me. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, I think that we have two really cool designs. I'm going to, um, since I seem to have lost my cell phone, I was going to take a picture, but basically that's it. When you're done with your design, you take a smartphone photo of it, you upload it to picturethiscloathing.com, and you um, place an order for your dress, t-shirt, your leggings, your face covering, or beanie. We have a whole bunch of different options. It's super fun. It's kind of relaxing. And before we go, I do want to um, remind us all, I have some stuff down here somewhere. What do I do with it? I swear, I am all over the place today. All right, so um, you are mother. We have a giveaway this week that we'll be announcing the winner of on Sunday during our 11 a.m. Pacific time live stream. The theme of our giveaway is show me how you battle boredom because July is National Anti-Boredom Month. This is the kind of stuff And we do. July 4th is Rocky's birthday. Oh my gosh, yeah, July 4th. He's our Independence Cat, our Independence Day Cat. <laughs> we have 4th of July coming up. And he's, he's cute. If you are, um, if you're in a lot, if you're not planning on getting out a great deal, like we, we're getting out a little, but you know, kind of like privately, like, we stay together as a family. We wear our face coverings. Um, we aren't getting out like an enormous amount to like. We're going recreate. to gas stations. <laughs> we do our faraway gas stations trips, but um, but yeah. Anyway, so how do you battle boredom? You know, that's some of the stuff that we've kind of developed and started doing these live streams is one of the things that we do to just stay creative and keep our brains fresh and learn new things. Um, that to me helps battle boredom. Hanging out with my kids a lot. Um, you know, doing more stuff together has been the fun. white fades off, so I'm making it very bright and I then like it's it. like I love it. But yeah, so that's the theme for this week's giveaway. How how do I enter the giveaway? You ask. Let me tell you. All right, so how to enter, you'll print your templates. They have to be on a picture of this clothing template. Um, so your design doesn't mean you have to ever place an order or actually wear it. Just print free templates and design something on them. You here's your theme. Show me in your theme how you battle boredom. If that's a creative expression, it doesn't have to be like literally we should, this like, is how frame this. I love that. I really do. I, I would think, like it not on a face mask. I think that we could frame this and I probably have some frames in the garage because I buy them when If we could sale. like scale this to be the perfect size of the face mask, that would be we can. We can ex we can do that. We have that ability by taking a photograph and then scaling it digitally, we can make it fit right in the face mask covering so that's what we'll do is we'll take a picture of it outside the template and then upload the order that way not have this weird ribbon yeah you don't want the ribbon on it at all I love the ribbon will you leave They're it for now so I can get a photo of it and then we can separate them later because I really they love look this. really off topic together oh I think they look really neat together so I don't know see but different people have different different preferences right that's the beauty of customizing your own clothes. All right, so how to enter the giveaway. All right, the challenge theme is this. How to enter is this. Print your templates, design and sign. So you'll notice Zia made a design over here. She needs to sign her name to it. Always sign your name to it. And then you're gonna email your entry, one entry per person, per email address, to hello at picturethisclothing.com. And you're gonna do that by Friday tomorrow at midnight Pacific time. We are gonna announce the winter, winner on Sunday, July 5th. We'll give you that day off for uh, 4th of July, but if you're looking for some activities, something to keep the kids busy, uh, if you're having a picnic, you got other kids coming over, maybe um, you know, in safe social distance, then um, print out some templates, give them some things to do. Everybody can enter um, their own entry and maybe win the giveaway on Sunday. So. <laughs> All right, so that's how it works. There's your theme. There's Zia's amazing uh, and my name thing. So I'll go like this. Boop, boop, boop. Go like that. Hello.com. All right. 
And with that, I think that we are ready to wrap things up. I really, I really like this scene. And I really think, again, I'm just going to recap, it can be more than one thing, which is super neat. Oh, look, it has the white at the top now because it just moved a little bit. I love that, though. I think that's really cool. You can slide it around. Ooh, see ya. It's off. It's off. All right. All right. All right. Very cool. Very cool. We'll say thank you. If you have questions, ideas, things you want to see us try, we are really, My really, we love your suggestions. Your <laughs> what? My elbow bumped into your hand and it was boop, like... Boop, boop, boop. Bony elbows. Anyway. We love your suggestions. We love it. If you like what we're doing, please share it with a friend. Tag somebody you know. Um, if you know anybody who'd like to do the giveaway um, to participate in our weekly challenges and weekly giveaways, please share with them. Um, it's a great activity to keep folks busy between now, especially if you're doing summer camp at home, right? All right. All right. And back is Sunday, better. we'll be framing a new... I like the back, too. That almost looks like... Just a milk stain. <laughs> oh, let's look at this side again. I like that side. Anyway. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your support. It and looks like the small heart of the Grinch. Oh, it does look like the small heart of the Grinch. Before it grew four sizes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Thank you. We will see you Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific time, where we will announce the winner of this week's challenge and giveaway. Oh. Bye.